Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use scrolling textures in Godot 4 and achieve effects like this. To get started, I'll quickly make a texture for this in Piscal. I'm just randomly placing lines here, or if you already have your material, you can go ahead and use that. Alright, after you have your texture made, let's go ahead and open up Blender. Let's create a new plane, rotate it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and create a new material. I'm going to import the texture into here as an image texture. And you don't have to worry about making that transparent yet, because we'll actually be doing that in Engine. What we do need to go over to is UV editing. Let's grab our entire, entire face and scale it up to whatever you, you believe will be right for your game. So I'm going to do about three. This way we can have enough lines to kind of fill in the space. Now we just need to export this as an object. And now heading over to Godot, let's create a new scene. Let's drag in our object that we've just created along with our texture. Drag and drop our object into here. Let's go and create a new material. It's a new resource. Material. Standard material 3D. Let's call it Mance. And now, let's go to our Albedo. Drag and drop our texture into here. Let's go and apply this to our actual plane. And don't worry about this yet. We'll go to Transparency. Press Alpha. And as you can see, now we can see through it. Put disabled on the calling mode so we can see it on both sides. Let's go down to emission, enable that. Let's make that kind of our lighter blue color. And I'll be quickly adding some post processing to see it better. And now to get the scrolling effect, we need to first off make sure that we have applied our material to the surface material override. Let's create a new script in here. We can delete the ready function, create a new variable called speed if we would like. I'm just going to set that to one for now. Now we need to reference our material that we have just put in here. So get surface of right material zero dot uv one underscore offset dot x plus get delta times speed. And if we press play, you'll see that that's all we need to do. And now it's scrolling and obviously the speed will increase the speed. Now we don't want a number counting into infinity during your game. So let's check if our offset X is greater than or equal to one. And if it is, we will simply set it back to zero. Now it'll perfectly loop and you won't be able to tell it's looping. And with some simple layering, some models, we can get a pretty neat effect. Anyways, guys, Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.